All right, hey guys, Mr. Kyle, Myers Mathematics, and let's just jump right into it again for today. We're doing a series on math worksheets, specifically Algebra 1 worksheets. So let's go ahead and look at what we have to deal with here today. So this one is on using the distributive property, which means we're going to be distributing. So what's distributing? Well, distributing, most of the time, uh, it's written kind of like this. You go and take this number and I multiply it by that number, well, letter, and then I take that one and multiply it by that one. Well, when I do that, I still want to have two things. This is actually, there's two things inside of this parentheses. There's an A and an 8, and I'm adding them. And when I'm done, I want to have two things. So, I know I want to have two things when I'm done because there's one thing out here and two things in here which means I'll have two things when I'm done and we'll look at what that looks like later on if there's uh, a little bit more distributing to do some foiling maybe but let's go ahead and get started here negative six times a well negative six times a I don't know what a is so I can't say it's you know 12 unless a was 2 but I don't know what a is so if I'm trying to multiply a number in a letter I actually just write the number and the letter side by side. When I write negative 6a, it means negative 6 times a. And that that's it for that one, right? So negative 6 times a is 6a, negative 6a. And then negative 6 times a positive 8, but I'm going to be either adding or subtracting those two numbers here. So negative 6 times positive 8 is going to be a negative number. It's going to be a minus there. Negative 6 times 8 is going to be a negative number, right? Positive and a negative make a negative, like we talked about in either the last video or the one before that. And then what's 6 times 8? Well, 6 times 8 is 48. And there we go. We just distributed. Let's go ahead and look at the next one. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 9x. Hmm. Well, I can't do 4 times x, right? Just like I can't do 6 times a, I would just have to write 6a. But I can do 4 times 9, and 9 is being multiplied by x. So really, it's kind of like 4 times 9 times x. Well, I can multiply the 4 and the 9 then. 4 times 9 is 36, and then still times x. So I just write 36x. I don't need to write a times in between them, especially if you are still using x to say that you're timesing things, which if you are still doing, I would highly recommend stopping that cut that stuff out because now we're big kids and we use dots because all the cool kids use dots when they do math apparently so 4 plus 36x is the answer I don't need to put anything in between the 36 and the x next we'll switch colors here 6 and 5 6 and 7 6 times negative 5 is negative 30 and then there's still an n it's 6 times negative 5 times n. I can do 6 times negative 5. I get a negative number, and 6 times 5 is 30. And then there's still that n. 6 times 7 is 42. 42. Negativo 30. N, n, y. I don't know how to say n in Spanish. Anyways, that's the answer. So we're moving on. Ooh, wait, hold on. They moved the number. What do we do? Notice they're using a dot because they're cool. Well, if you put the number on the right side, is that any different than putting it on the left side? The answer is no. No, it is not. So we just multiply the 2 by each thing that's in the parentheses. I still want to write it in order um, of, like, maybe, you know, the first number here and then the 10, but you don't have to. You could do 2 times 10 first and then write that on the left side. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to maybe do 2 times 9m first and kind of like read it from left to right, sort of. 2 times 9m. 2 times 9 is 18, and then I keep the m. 2 times 10 is 20, so I'm going to put plus 20. Remember, if you're distributing, you're going to have two things if it looks like how it's been looking like on numbers 1 through 4 so far. You're going to have two things. You have a number on the outside of the parentheses, being multiplied by two things on the inside of the parentheses, you should have two things when you're done, meaning two things that are separated by a plus or a minus. OK? 
Okay, and if you don't, then you did something wrong. On to the next one. We have, ah, they put the number over here again. Those tricky little boogers. All right, what about negative eight times negative three? Well, a negative times a negative is a positive. So I ignore the sign and just focus on the numbers. Eight times three is 24. So 24 in. Negative eight times negative four, that's gonna be a positive. Negative times a negative is a positive. Eight times four is 32. 32. Okay, eight times B and eight times four. Eight times B, well that would be eight B, but it's got a negative sign, so I put a negative in front of it. Negative eight B. Negative B times eight. It's sort of like negative one B, so you're doing negative one times eight, which is negative eight. And then I have eight times four, but it's minus, minus, so I'm gonna have a minus here. Positive times a negative is a negative. And then eight times four is 32. All right, next set, let's change colors, five and one. Let's do five and one first, that way our, our leading term here is positive, because why not? You could do five times seven first, or you could do five times one first. It doesn't matter which one you do first, actually. Five times one is five, five times seven is 35, but it's gotta have that minus sign. Five times seven is 35 in. Ah, yes, they put the number on the left side again. I like the number better on the left side. I think it looks nicer. So let's distribute negative 6x, negative 6 times positive 4 is going to be a negative, 6 times 4 is 24, okay? Also, let me show you something on uh, number 10. Let's get to number 9, and then we'll get to number 10. On number 10, actually, let's just go ahead and skip that, because I'm going to forget. Let's just skip number 9, and we'll go back to it. If you want, if it's kind of weird to see the number over here, you can just write it over here instead. And that's totally fine. Just remember to get rid of it on the on the other side. And you can do that, right? So if you like, like me, to have the number on the left side, because that's normally how you first see it, is with the number on the left side being distributed into the right stuff, then you do that. You just move the number over. And it's fine because you're multiplying, so it doesn't matter if you do four times something or something times four, right? Three times four is 12. 4 times 3 is also 12. It doesn't matter what order you put the numbers in if you're multiplying. So negative 4 times negative 6. Negative and a negative make a positive. 4 times 6 is 24. And I put a P. Negative 4 times positive 7. Okay, negative times a positive is a negative. 4 times 7 is 28. And there we go. Let's go ahead and go back to number 9 now. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 6 is 30, but I have a minus positive times a negative is a negative, minus 30. All right, let's go to the yellow color here. This one's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to do this one. No explanation needed. Let's just go ahead and knock this one out too. Look at that, 5x plus 45. All right, we're going to start picking up the pace here just a little bit. Because I don't think there's any other tricks that are coming about. Just slightly bigger numbers as we go on. Now, when we get to a new thing, I'll, you know, kind of go a little slower on that. But I'm going to start to pick up the pace a little bit here. Because we're kind of just doing the same thing over and over again here. The number's either on the left side or the right side. But either way, you multiply it by both the numbers inside. Negative 4 times negative 8. That's a positive. 4 times 8 is 32. And then again, so plus 32 w without the x that time. Negative 6 times 7, that's going to be a negative. 6 times 7 is 42. Negative 6 times x is minus 6x. All right. Again, boom, boom. Negative 3x, that's going to be a positive. Negative times a negative. 15. Negative 5 times 10, that's a negative 50. And then there's an x. Don't forget the variable. Sometimes it's easy to focus on the numbers and forget the variable. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. All right. Let's see how quickly we can do these. This is what it might look like if you were to do them very quickly here. You would just go, boom, done. All right? So this is maybe the, the goals that you want to have right here. All right? I can kind of just boom, 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 and get it done. All right? So that's kind of where you want to land. Uh, if you go any faster than that, it might be a little dangerous no matter who you are. But you want to be able to 
start to distribute these pretty quickly, actually. And um, once you get some practice and you work some of these out, you'll get the hang of it, and you'll be able to factor them, or not factor, FOIL, distribute um, all the way out and do it pretty quickly like I'm doing here. Remember, if you see only one negative sign, it's negative. If you see two positives or two negatives, it's going to be positive. Don't forget those signs. Signs are the number one reason why people miss math problems. And speaking of, that is the first thing listed on my five math mistakes everyone makes and how to avoid them, which is a free guide that I developed just for you so that you can look at what kinds of math mistakes people make. And if you make one or more of them, perhaps, and how to avoid making those mistakes. It's a quick little PDF. I think it's like one or two pages. Um, and you can go grab that for free on my website, MyersMathematics.com, just like how it's spelled on my channel. Negative 7 times 5 is negative 35. Negative 7 times negative 4 is positive 28. Boom, done. Negative 35a plus 30. Negative 5 times negative 6 is 30. All right, next. Got like a purplish color here. That's going to be 5 times n is 5n. 5 times 6 is 30. 4 times 3 is 12, with an R. 4 times 8 is 32, but it's minus 32. And if I write in white, nobody's going to notice it, but um, actually, I'm kind of curious now. Nah, you can't see it. Okay. I just thought I'd try, because, you know, you never know. You never know until you try. Let me go ahead and go this way now. And what do we have left? Oh, that's it. These are the last two problems. All right, let's knock these out, and then we'll look at the answers. Make sure we're good to go here, and we'll wrap this thing up. 15 plus 15x. Look at that. And negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. Negative 10 times 9 is negative 90, and an x. And remember, all of these worksheets, you can Google yourself and find the answers right here. Okay? So if you're just looking for the answers, you don't need to watch this video. Okay, this video is so that you can learn how to do it, not just to get the answers for it. You can look up the answers yourself, and hopefully you don't use them to cheat or anything, but, you know, on a homework assignment, you want to maybe check to make sure you're on the right track and make sure you're getting the right answer. So it's good to have the answers so that you can check to make sure you're getting them right. Okay, so here's the answers. I'll go a little bit slower as I scroll back up here. All right. So let me know if I worked out one of these problems wrong. If I made a math mistake, it's possible. You can call me out for it. But there's all the answers. Okay? So, this has been Mr. Kyle Myers Mathematics. If this has been helpful, give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments what video you would want to see. Seriously, anything math-related, I'm, I'm down. I'm all ideas here. Just you give me whatever idea you have. If it's something specific or you just have some random question about the Fibonacci sequence or something, let me know in the comment below and I'll make a video just for you on that topic after I'm done with this series. So anyways, hope you guys had a good one and uh, I'll catch you again real soon.